My name is Sutomo Murashima. People call me the Wizard of Rice, but I wonder where it came from. It could be my appearance and my beard. I get up at 4 a.m. and soon my wife would come in and my son would go down to the market. We have done this every single day and we've never grown tired of it. My wife and I have been together since we were 21. We haven't fought even once. If we do, that is just going to affect the taste of the food. You just sleep and forget. When I wash the rice, it already tells me enough about what kind of rice it is and whether it is good or bad. But to be honest, the rice that you use will become the best rice. People go to a great extent to try to rank the quality of rice, but if you are hungry, anything will taste good. Every day I cook rice, and if I cook it ten times, it is different each time. It is true that I've had my trials and errors. Good rice is not too soft or hard. Timing is everything. But good rice must be delicious, even after it gets cold. I was told that people in China don't eat cold rice. If I go there and cook rice that tastes delicious to them, even when it's served cold, then there is nothing more that I can ask for. That is my goal. Chinese symbols, Buddhism and rice agriculture all come from China. Our relationship dates back a long time and our civilization exists because of them. When I go there, I feel as though I'm paying homage to my ancestors. I enjoy what I do, cooking side dishes. I flavor it myself. I don't touch meat or fish because its taste will transfer from my hand to the rice. We cook about 60 kilograms of rice daily to serve 500 customers for breakfast and lunch. We can't manage to do dinner. We sell out by then. People say that my restaurant serves the best rice. But no, I have never thought so. I feel happy when the rice cooks well. And the happiness is priceless. It is my ultimate bliss.